বন্ধুরা আমরা যাচ্ছি সবুজের যাত্রাপথ এখন চেন্নাইয়ে আপনারা জানেন যে আমার এই যাত্রাপথ যেখানেই যায় আমি আপনাদের সাথে চেষ্টা করি শেয়ার করতে ভাগাভাগি করতে তো আজকে আমরা উই আর গোয়িং টু সি এ প্রজেক্ট ইন চেন্নাই ইট ইজ ওয়ান অফ মাই পার্টনার্স প্রজেক্ট আই লাইক টু সি দ্য প্রজেক্ট অ্যান্ড সি হাউ দ্য ওয়ার্ডস and they also like to have some advice for me if there is something that I can add value to. So there is the project we are going and as you know that uh, my uh, partner uh, Kittika Madhukishnan is the principal consultant of King Sketch Consultant Chennai India uh, is our partner and uh, she is taking me there. So it's a great privilege and honor to see a project in India uh, which we are associated with. So let's hear from us about the project and then we only go to go to the project get some picture and show to you. Let's hear. So Kittika is a beautiful place. Uh, we are going through a village kind of thing, same yes. like Bangladesh. Yes. I feel like I'm in a Bangladesh village. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the project and uh, what you're going to see. Sure. Uh, so today uh, what we are going to see is a very nice residential school. Uh, the residential school uh, is uh, owned by uh, Velour Institute of Technology Management uh, which is a premier institution in south of India and this school it is just newly constructed it's just started is a residential school uh, meant for uh, some of the brightest minds in the country and uh, the school has been designed in a very thoughtful way by one of the top architects in the country architect sanjay mohe and the aim of the school is to include all natural elements how much ever as possible so uh, very shortly as we are driving through maybe a little bit far away you can start seeing the roof of the school the little red color roof a bit far away uh, and you go nearby you can see and it's located a little bit away from the main city away from the pollution away from all the noise and all that and uh, it's a place where the students can learn from nature so i think we can see it as we uh, enter into the school and with from more of the pictures i'm very happy to take you guys there on our virtual journey so as you go tell me one of the two of the prominent features that you like about this project okay as a part of it sure uh, one of the most beautiful part of this project which you will notice is the uh, various ways that they have created the airflow uh, within the building it's a natural airflow there is uh, there, though there, it does have air conditioning because we have very hot weather but still uh, the common spaces has lot of natural wind flow wind movement and all that that you will see is having a very nice feeling to it and the other thing is the daylight which is also uh, very thoughtfully designed and uh, very beautifully captured and uh, uh, also another thing which we are uh, very proud of is the use of materials most of the materials they have used are very local materials they have not used too much of materials either but they still have a world class uh, building where Uh, some of the best people can put their children for studying these are some of the lovely things thank you uh, uh, good to hear from you, you. and uh, it is nice when i uh, we see a project that uh, that is visible to us right now yes right uh, you can see so it is a small small project is a village like things so uh, it's good to hear from person that uh, working inside out and uh, hopefully we're going to see closely and we'll get some explanation from other project team member and see how it goes we are entering the school premises it looks beautiful pleasant quiet natural uh, and plenty of space for kids to run around this is exclusively residential school so kids have to live here uh, stay here uh, 10 years and over uh, class 4 uh, and uh, they will have their own world inside the campus secured uh, world inside the campus looks beautiful so we are just approaching the reception
Beautiful, this simple small void created a lot of daylight. This is library area. We can accommodate around 35 to 40 students at a time. And This is the computer no, lab. Yeah, without lights, as Mahan said. Yeah, it can also uh, work without the lights. The daylight is there. A small void in uh, different places brought a lot of daylight into the classrooms. all the rooms and classrooms. At the same time, there is a touch of green in all the void spaces that give us uh, a good uh, visionary, uh, peaceful vision. This is the doctor room and yeah, nurses room. And all the kids is whenever uh, whenever kids need it, they can come here and get uh, health health related support. Very nice. Yeah. This is one of the classroom. People are just a second. Hi everyone. How's your day today? Good. Happy? Who is the most happiest one? <laughs> now we have to find out. Okay? All right. Very nice to meet you. Very good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Can you feel the wind? Beautiful. We feel the wind and it is beautiful. Uh, this is a corridor uh, throughout the class. All the classroom is on the side of the building where they can get the daylight directly and all the walkway is inside the building and there is a, they get daylight from the void which is very nice. And the air flow is beautiful, it's very comforting. There is also uh, the pathway, pathway and uh, some void to grow the plants which is very nice and there is this a lot of spaces here for kids to walk around. On the roof, they have lots of, uh, you can see behind that. Uh, uh, daylight, uh, it's not a transparent sheet, it's a special sheet, it doesn't bring the heat, but it does bring the daylight inside, which is beautiful for second floor, here's a, you see, beautiful here, it's very carefully done. We are going to see another classroom here, again you can see the window right there, and there's a green, kids can uh, see the green and I'll study at the same time. Of their own 
each class has a private courtyard space for their own so that if they want to come out and study something or you know just have a discussion or a meeting they can use this space it's a little bit private but still connected to the outside and has the good daylight right and uh, has the ventilation as well cross ventilation as well and it's totally secure yeah and it's secure also so, so the child cannot go out very good very good Yeah, all this fan uh, is a uh, DC fan. They also have air condition, but they do not need to use it most of the time. So they can first try with the natural ventilation, then they add the fan to their comfort, and if it's needed, then they go to the air condition, which is very nice. In the pathway and the floor, they use uh, natural stone, localized natural stone. especially cut and best you can see and it looks beautiful it looks very vibrant roof is also made of clay tiles which are by locally manufactured the roof is made of natural clay tiles uh, which is a local uh, locally available tiles and uh, the inside is faced with local wood so that uh, the uh, cooling is maintained and uh, in between you can see they have cut outs for the daylighting mm-hmm. uh, so th- those are made of uh, polycarbonate glass uh, which allows the light but not the heat and there is good cross ventilation also because it's open from all the sides so when if it heat does come inside the air takes it out out, out of the building so the entire thing about the tree again Uh, most of the trees that you can see right now are uh, have been preserved the grown ones have been preserved as it is the building has been placed and built around the trees so that not a single tree would be cut and uh, uh, these are la- native palm trees which are only available in this local region along the coast east coast and uh, the other trees that have been new trees have been planted they are also fully native species and uh, very soon they are expected to grow and this entire area is going to become very well shaded so that this place which you can see ahead of you can also be used as a nice playground good So this is a volleyball court, and the left side, other side, will be a football court. And inside, there's a basketball court and indoor stadium. What and you there's, are standing on now yeah. is grass pavers. This is called grass pavers. Yeah. You cannot see the pavers because it is below the ground. Right. But the grass has grown fully, and uh, this is strong enough for even trucks to move onto it. You can see a little bit here. Right. You see. Yeah. So these pavers allow the water to go inside, but the vehicle can move on top. But it still looks okay. So it's been put for this stretch, and then later on it will come in some other places. And this is the amphitheater. This is the main amphitheater, mm-hmm. and uh, this is one of the uh, trees uh, that is uh, it has been transplanted actually, and now it has started to sprout the leaves. It has started to grow. And uh, the, uh, these are the amphitheater blocks, so some performances or something can happen here, and everybody would be seated. And trees have been planted so that the uh, steps also become shaded. So it's going to become that that tree grows into very big leaves. So the tire is very, very hard. Yeah, very big branches and very big leaves, so it will become very shady. Very nice. So here some workers sitting. Tell me what it is, Shakunta. Dining block. Dining block. Indoor stadium. Indoor stadium. So there is going to be uh, indoor basketball court, indoor tennis uh, court. That's the industrial place. Oh, there is built fence there too. Yeah. 
Uh, this is a store's uh, indoor stadium. Here is a badminton court first, and there is a people kids can play. And there's a spilsy fan. Ceiling is too high, so it's never gonna be too warm. And there's a daylight is there. A spilsy fan is there. So you have movement is awesome. Yeah, even the middle of the footprint, they keep the plant. There's both of them was there before. So make the three of them. All three is, uh, and all the behind one is also there. So they make the design consciously to keep all the tree intact. And this tree on my right side, it has this daylight void to tree can get the daylight. That's very nice. And this tree's height is almost the same. We're gonna keep cutting the leaves. Very nice. And that's the football field, basketball field around. This is the dining hall, has different color for different purposes. The nutrition information is there for the kids. Uh, and the food is provided by the school for the kids because this is a uh, dormitory for residential schools. So it's very maintained, hygiene maintained very carefully. Uh, so that's what it is. House concert? Yeah, they have uh, one person for hmm. about 16 kids. Oh. This Oop. is their private space. Is it? They have a first yard space, which is their own. Then they have So each, each person has their own, own private space. one private space. Yes. Yeah. They have a study table, a bed, mm. some cupboards, mm. and mm. Uh, they have uh, a small uh, common area mm. that is they common can the changing area. Mm. The changing area. They mm. have a space to mm. change their clothes uh, mm. inside. Mm. Yeah. Mm. After taking a bath. Okay, very nice. Or if they just want to change in the night. And they have bathrooms are common and the same way yeah. it's laid out up also. Okay. So there are 16, 16 in one, one uh, block. 16 in one dome, so mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six. Oh, six. Yeah. more construction going on. Yeah, it's for the kids. It's for the kids to play. The entire zone is for kids. Yeah, all lights are down facing. Here you can see a nice rainwater 
called Swales. It's called Swales. Okay. And uh, you can see the, all the rainwater. Mm. There you can see those pipes mm -hmm. comes and the water is let into this. Mm -hmm. Since yesterday's rain, you can see some of the water, the water is also stagnating. So it's naturally and flow. This naturally absorb the water over a period of time and flows out. Flow and flows out. Over over one is go to the pond. Go yes. to the pond. Yes. And uh, most of it get absorbed here itself, and it also provides. As you can see, some birds are drinking water out of it. So. It gives you that natural environment. This tree, both sides of this hard space will grow and it's a big tree, big dia. Uh, and all this going to be under the tree, uh, from both sides tree. That too, we want to employ uh, uh, most of our projects who will allow us to do. This way the heat alien effect never happened. Yeah, that's a lot of calculations. Here we are going into uh, academic blocks. We are going in. Here also there's a void, there's a tree, there's a daylight. Yeah. We can see the daylight from the roof is special uh, sheet that doesn't bring the heat in. And the classrooms, right? Yes, the classrooms. And people kids come in and music does. Very Organized. So we have tried in this place to reduce the heat island effect as much as possible. So the very first thing we did was go for the steep slope route. So which means the direct sunlight falls on only one side, the other side automatically shades it. And because it's a steep slope, we were able to go for the red colored uh, tiles which are having a good heat reflectivity. It's a natural plate tile, so it absorbs and reflects the heat. Wherever we could, we have tried to cover it with grass like this, so that uh, the best absorber of heat is the greenery. So tried to maximize the greenery, planted more trees which will grow into shades and all that. This is the only place which is uh, a flat roof. Uh, because it forms a part of the amphitheater and there we cannot uh, avoid it so we have used a natural stone which is having the uh, very light grey color almost white in uh, effect so that again reflects as much of heat as possible and giving you zero heat element effect in this area and under this there is a classroom under this there is the main it's corridor corridors, corridors. space so you put any undertake insulation on no, this? No, this place we have not put because it's not on top of uh, regular or, or regular spaces. Only few areas is there and uh, those places the fall ceiling is there. So that is cutting out the heat. Very nice.